joined the game back in 20, is it 2014, yeah, from St. Mary's School, Yala. Yeah. I started playing in my second year in high school, that's 14. I got a platform in St. Mary's School, Yala. Yeah. I was taught by, actually, Timothy Okulu, the late Timothy Okulu, was my coach. I got interested in rugby because I felt there's something quite different about this game. And it was a bit, a bit interesting and encouraging. There's a, there's a way that I got encouraged to join the game, uh, the, the peers that I was around with. It was just like, you need to get in this game. Because initially I was a footballer, but again, going to football doesn't, it didn't make really sense when uh, playing third team, second team, because I wasn't that good in football back then. A chance to play rugby because of various people like uh, Good Fioniala, the former, he was a former player and a cool player. He used to encourage me a lot because in the same, same, you know, say same dormitory. He was in uh, third form when I was in my first form, so he really encouraged me to join in the game. Yeah, in high school. I remember we won uh, mostly, we got to the Nationals in 2011, that's 15th, that was played in Meru. And uh, a number of times we won the Provincials. Uh, in 2011, we won the Provincials, 15th. 2012, we won, uh, we won, uh, 50, was it 50? Uh, we won uh, seventh Provincials and proceeded the Nationals that we, were, we, were, we went up to the semi finals and we were backed out by St. Peter's Mumias. Straight from my school, I came to Black Club. No other club. Uh, I only did some stint with Kisi RFC because it was closer to home. So a number of times I could run to Kisi and play maybe trainings. And on the only tournament I played with Kisi RFC was uh, Dallas Sevens. That's in 20, 2012. Yeah, 20, not, not really 2013. Yeah. And coming to Black Blood, I knew a number of people, former St. Mary's school boys, that were playing for Black Blood, Rocky Abuko, Trevor Ayombe, Paul Mugalo. So it, it gave me, a plat they gave me a platform and carried me to join the team since I was joining, I was joining Kenyatta University. Joining club rugby was a bit difficult because uh, it was a, Actually, for me, I came into Black Blood straight up I went to Kenya Cup. It wasn't that easy because uh, it was like you stand uh, body size looking at the other players and I was like, oh, I'm in a different world. Because straight from my school, it wasn't that days of that wasn't that big. They were they were like maybe the same size, but coming to Kenya Cup and coming to Black Blood, I met different sizes of people and different kind of people who had different kind of skills. It gave me like I was like trying to learn new things, but getting the platform to play for Kenya Cup for my first year it was a big achievement for me, I didn't expect it that much. But again, uh, coming to club rugby, uh, there are challenges, there are challenges. You have to fight for, for your position, knowing that you're a junior. You have to be a bit fit, something that wasn't in my school, so you have to find yourself getting to the gym and everything. So came along with a, a number of challenges and targets that that you really have to pull up your socks, socks and, and get some. Uh, Black Blood, I, actually Black Blood is, is the club that has made me the player that I am today. Since I, I joined in 2013 and uh, pretty much it gave me a platform to express myself as a player, to express my skills and to learn more new skills. Starting back in 2013, it wasn't that easy and I, I needed to, to keep, keep going. Because looking at it, a number of, uh, a number of times I would feel like ah, there's no need of playing, but again, you have, you have to find motivation within yourself and keep on going. And the experience that I got in Black Blood was totally different. Cause Coming into Black Blood as a normal player, playing Kenya Cup, and finally getting the leadership positions in Black Blood, gave me a great experience and it has built me to a better player than than, than I was before. before.
you can call it miraculous, <laughs> but I believe we work out our ways, knowing that when uh, danger zone, we have to find a way of of getting yourself out of the danger zone. You have to calculate well. You have to strategically think about the next season. That's when the, when season starts, you look. We are, we are in to compete when the season starts. But when things get worse, we need to come up with a plan of avoiding relegation, whatsoever case. So we have to isolate a number of. We need the, the, the tactics only the isolation of a number of teams, and we make sure that's something that we have to make sure it's done. It's, it's a bit of hard work. It's hard work and resilience that makes us avoid relegation each and every time. Knowing that uh, going down, because each and every time you, you think of going for relegation and everything, there are people who brought the team to Kenya Cup. And they will always remind you it took us years to get into Kenya Cup. And uh, each and every day they have, to, like, they have to send you a text each and every day you are going to a match. And you have to keep it in mind, my guys, we are not going down or save a case. So you have to work really hard. And it has to be extra, extra hard work to, to, to avoid relegation at all costs. For Nondis, it was a, we had started like, it was an engagement that started way before when I was in my career. We started engaging with a number of people from Londis, especially the management side. And uh, me finding myself, or me getting to a point that I could uh, have a conversation with, uh, with the leadership of Londis made me move to Londis. Though, uh, although I had a number of uh, uh, different choices, but I chose to go to Londis because of the opportunity that Londis is offering and the, the, the kind of, the kind of uh, the kind of, uh, let me say, the kind of how known is just operates and building someone into an holistic individual, both career-wise, rugby-wise, and everything. Just maybe to move on this because they focus on all like it's an individual, not only rugby but it's a holistic thing that the brotherhood, the everything, the the brotherhood career-wise. So for me, I chose it because mostly it's more of career because they are building me in terms of career. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, as a player, because more, more, more the discussions that we had is more of we getting somewhere as, a, as an individual and a human being is trying to figure out how things will be in the future, not just in terms of rugby, but in terms of life. getting into Nondis or getting into any other club. Basically, mm -hmm. there's somebody who wanted that position before you came, so you have to work hard to get your position into the team. For me, I believe I worked hard enough to get my to get myself where I was that season. And pretty much I made sure that I focused on everything that I needed to focus in terms of uh, the team's target, my personal targets and everything. And each and every day, each and every time I train I just tick the little boxes and the small boxes that I focus, I focus on. That made me a better player that season compared to other seasons that I had maybe black blood. Because it was my first season I knew I had to fight so hard to get to where I was. It has been a good experience, a good run, and uh, the first season, it was, I think it was my best season. And I, uh, I got to know a number of things and skills. I learned a lot from the, the coaching staff, the, 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 the players themselves. And uh, the first season was good, that's 2018, 2019, but coming to 2019, 2020 season, uh, things weren't that better for us as long as we did well in first year but my second year at Londis we were aver we performed averagely it was yeah, averagely but that's because purely it was a number of issues uh, concerning players injuries and everything but I believe we can get better any day anytime when we get back we put our heads together and make things work out. In terms of rugby as a, as a player, mine is just to to make myself a better player each and every day I get to the pitch and each and every day I, I step on the training, training training session. My focus is actually my target. For me personally, I just really need to win a Kenya Cup trophy and be done. 
my focus is just the Kenya Cup trophy and making my club a better club each day, and making my club a, a successful club in whatever thing, in whatever tournament, whatever league we play. That's all my focus. That's where my focus is uh, as a player. The dream is there, but when the opportunity presents itself, then definitely I'll grab it. So far, so good. I've done so well, but the opportunity doesn't come. The, the call up hasn't come, but when it comes, definitely I'll grab it. But it isn't my main focus as such. Uh, when the opportunity comes, well and good, because the only thing that makes us better players is what we make, what we do as a player at your club, and how you make your club a better club each and every day. That what makes you earn a call up to the national team. That's pretty much it's what you do at the club that you give your call up to the national team. And pretty much maybe the time hasn't come but me I believe I just focus on my club and when that time come up when the time comes and pretty much pretty much I'll just grab the opportunity. I've had a number of other that's so many starting back from my school. Winning, winning provincial games, winning, winning Arabo. The, the, the biggest one is always Yala Maseno. That's when you beat Maseno, that's an achievement. Because it's, it's a big rivalry down there in Nyanza. It's a big rivalry ever since I got to high school. It's like, we'll all, the talk will always St. Mary's School Yala and Maseno. Maseno St. Mary's School Yala. But beating, Saint Mary, beating Maseno in high school was, the, was one of the achievements. Uh, when coming to Black Blood, I've won a number of tournaments, uh, starting from Kusa. Most only Kusa, we won a rather good stint in Kusa, like winning a number of tournaments and everything. Then uh, just making sure that I remember the, that there's a year we were playing Western Kusa. It was a determinant game. On that was uh, 2014, 2015, and it was a determinant game about relegation. We lose. We are down. We win, we stay. The game ended 7-5. I think that was an achievement. It was a, it was a victorious day for me. Because 7-5 was that close. It was so close that playing 80 minutes. Actually, the, the, the points got the all the, the, the 7-5 came in first half. And playing for the rest of second half, knowing that we are under thin line, there's just a thin line between you staying and relegation that made me a, a proud a proud player that, that that year there are, there are low moments I'll pretty much talk about the, 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 the for us we concluded I was so we did get an opportunity to win the playoffs the, 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 the recently the recent uh, season that, that, that was ongoing but disrupted with COVID-19 it has been my lowest because uh, we were like we were, we were ready for we were ready for the season. We were ready for the season. Getting the first match is a loss. The second, even from the teeth that we didn't really expect, it was really really disturbing. And we, we were trying our best. We were trying whatever we could, but things weren't just the ball that didn't just bounce our way. It really made me uh, as low as possible. I was trying to get back on my feet, but things weren't just working. I know, I know we can, yeah, I can, we can get some, actually this coming season we know we have, we have better plans mm -hmm. as a club and as a team and as a player. Though there is, the, the, the pandemic has had a, a big, I believe we have lost a number of months that we have been something towards the season. Brian Rotich, the current, the current uh, coach, Black Blood, really helped me when I was back in campus in terms of growing as an individual and as a player. Uh, the second one is Paul Mugalo, the fearless, the fearless human being that made me realize being a back row, you need to be fearless at whatever case. Uh, Maybe international, like I'll, I'll pick I'll, international, I'll go with Richie Mako and Sam Ken. Outside the pitch, I'm an economist, I work, uh, I'm an intern at uh, 
Office of the Control of Budget, Office of the Control of Budget. And uh, that's pretty much career wise I'm just an economist. Yeah. And uh, that's that's all about also family family wise I'm not a so far I have not I have not yet getting to family point. Pretty much rugby is all about hard work and uh, resilience. Just put yourself or compose yourself and just work hard towards whatever targets you have placed for yourself. I don't believe much in uh, in, uh, in uh, what in uh, in uh, I don't believe much in uh, talent, but hard work makes each and every player or each and every person better person each and every day. Just, you know, I need to get somewhere. If you have a target of getting to Kenya Cup, you just have to put yourself. I know this is what I should be doing at a certain time and everything. And above all, it's all about discipline. Discipline is key in everything, in any aspect of life. Discipline just makes you a better person.